Okay, I got another soup recipe for you that you can make in your three quart iPod. And it's good, and it looks like broccoli, and it's got broccoli in it, but according to these two clowns, it doesn't taste like broccoli soup. <laughs> let's get cooking. All right, let's get this iPod hot. Let's turn on the saute mode. Um, last time I was using it, I was using normal heat, so it's already there. No need to change that. And uh, I'm not going to worry about the cooking time. I'm starting this recipe with one large garlic clove minced and half of a sweet yellow onion roughly chopped. I want to dry cook this onion for about five minutes until it softens. If the onion begins to uh, brown too quickly or the bottom of the pot gets sticky, hello nose, then uh, I'll add a couple of tablespoons of water to clean up the bottom of the pan. All right, I'm starting to get a little browning and sticking on my onions, but that's okay. I'm not gonna worry about it. We're almost there. I'm gonna go ahead and drop in this garlic and let it get aromatic. There we go, a little splash of veggie broth will clean that pot right up. Mmm, baby. Use whatever vegetable broth you have on hand. Whatever you prefer is what's gonna work for you. You know what I'm saying? High five. Here's a tip. Cut up some extra broccoli so you have something to nibble on while you're waiting for the onions to cook tender. <laughs> you're welcome. Okay, the onions are tender. Let's throw in the broccoli. Broccoli, broccoli. For my smokiness, I'm gonna add about a third cup of fire roasted red bell peppers. If you have already roasted up some bell peppers, red bell peppers, and you have them in your freezer, then go ahead and use those. But for the sake of ease of this recipe, I'm using the stuff out of the jar. I'm guesstimating. This is one pepper here coming out of the jar. That almost looks like a third. Here's a third cup. Will it squeeze in there? <gasps> Just about. Look at that. <gasps> That's close enough to me. Close enough for you? I'll just throw it in there. Ooh, and let's add some extra smokiness by giving a little juice from the jaw. I'm also going to add a little bit of power greens here. Just a little bit. I'm going to add more later when we blend. And then I'm going to add about a cup of vegetable broth. Yeah, close now. Let's lock on the lid. Turn the steam release handle to ceiling. And let's reset this iPod. Okay, I'm going to hit the cancel mode. Oops, sorry. I'm going to hit the cancel mode to turn off the saute function. I'm going to hit pressure cook. It automatically goes to high pressure. And I'm going to use the minus key to take this down to a one minute. And I'm going to turn off the keep warm mode because we don't need it. Okay, the cook time is up, so let's let the pressure out of the pot, baby, and turn the steam release handle to venting. This is going to take about a minute for all the pressure to leave the pot, and then the float valve here will drop down and unlock the lid, and I'll be able to take it off. You can't take the lid off without this vent, this float valve uh, being down. It's just impossible. Whatever you do, don't get your hands or your face around this steam release handle, and don't touch these metal parts of the lid. They are super hot. All right, that's dropped down. <gasps> oh, dun, dun, dun. Yum, 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 yum. Let's check on this broccoli. Oh, look at it, it's still bright green. There's our bell pepper. Our power greens are still bright and happy. Look at that. Our broccoli hasn't turned gray. One minute is perfect. And if I stab into the crown here, you see that's fork tender. Good. Look at that. Fork 
tender baby. One minute, no minute, no longer. And don't, when you're doing this, you need to let the pressure out of the pot right after the cooking time because with all this pressure in the pot, the vegetables will continue to cook and they'll lose their color and your soup won't look yummy. So uh, pay attention to your time, don't get too distracted. Now let's transfer this to the Vitamix blender, or if you want, if you have an immersion blender, you could use that too. But my next step is gonna involve some cashews, and I haven't soaked these, so I'm gonna let the Vitamix do the creaming for me. Let's see if I can safely transfer my vegetables without burning myself. <gasps> Cross your fingers. Um. I threw three pieces of Sea Delicious bread into the Breville, toasting those up so we can have croutons on top of our soup. We'll see if that tastes all right. May not. We'll find out. The boys will let us know for sure. Okay, that's it. So normally, or back in the day, we would have added cheddar cheese to our broccoli soup to make it creamy. But we don't do that anymore, do we? No. So here's what I was thinking to replace the cheddar. Based on my famous five minute game changer cheese sauce, where I used roasted red bell pepper to make that taste like cheddar sauce. So I'm hoping that a third cup roasted red bell pepper is gonna do the trick for me. I'm also gonna add some cashews and some nutritional yeast to kind of help boost that cheesy flavor. Now, if you can't eat nuts, that's cool, leave them out. If you don't like nutritional yeast, that's cool, leave it out. I'm sure this is gonna be great, just as a broccoli soup. But if that's what you're, if the cheese sauce is what you're looking for, or that cheese flavor is what you're looking for, then this is what I'm thinking will get me through. Now, if you don't wanna eat cashews because you're allergic to them, then whip out your hemp seeds. Uh, I have hemp seeds in the freezer, I use those in the tomato soup and they turned out great but I had a lot of people say I didn't have that they didn't have hemp seeds on hand so uh, cashews or almonds would work too almonds might be a little sweet cashew definitely has a cheese flavor though anyways just thinking out loud here two tablespoons of, of cashews two tablespoons of nutritional yeast okay and then I have about a cup and a half of vegetable broth left over here, so I'm gonna dump that in there. Let's just throw in an extra handful of the power greens, just for, you know, a little extra green boost and nutrition yumminess. I hope that's a good idea. We'll see. I'm blending until smooth. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Let's taste it and find out. Smells good. I can smell the nooch. Ooh. Mmm. Mmm, that part good. Mmm. I'm gonna leave that right there. Mmm. No, I'm just kidding. It's too hot for that. I need a straw. Broccoli smoothie? No way! I made up something new. I'm gonna transfer the soup back into the iPod and keep it warm. So when everybody's ready to eat, it's ready. And I can go on with my thing. You know what I'm saying? I love the iPod for that. I love that I can just cook when I'm ready to cook, when I'm in the mood to cook. And then I can just put my dinner on keep warm mode here and go about my biz and let my family eat when they want to eat. That made a lot of soup, didn't it? This is definitely like serves too with leftovers. Before I call the boys in here, I want to show you the Sea Delicious toast that I just toasted up. 
Sea Delicious is the name of this bread that my local HEB makes in their bakery. It's not an oil-free bread, but it's pretty tasty and it's fun to have every now and then. And it's just loaded with seeds. It's got like sesame seeds and poppy seeds and probably some sunflower seeds in there. And it's just fun to eat. And so I put that in the breville, put it up in the breville and toasted it to get it nice and brown. And I'm gonna cut this up into crouton shapes and I'm gonna drop this on top of our soup just for some fun. It's gonna be nice, yum, yum, yum. This is my cheap and fast way of having butter-free croutons, you know what I'm saying? All right, I called Max and Charlie down for the ultimate test because y'all know how this goes. If the family doesn't like the recipe, there's no point in cooking it, right? There's no point in sharing it or any of that. So, what do the boys think? Mm. I tried to eat it in front of my tongue. I know. What is I, it? It's broccoli soup. Broccoli and onions. It's got a little roasted red bell pepper in it and cashews and uh, nooch to make it taste a little cheesy, but not too cheesy. Well, mm. it was good when it's not burning my tongue. It's definitely creamy. I like the creaminess. Mm. I didn't pick up on the broccoli though. Like normally you have like a broccoli Broccoli. Yeah, the broccoli's not at the forefront. So, so it's not broccoli soup? Well, if you hadn't, I had to ask if it was no. what kind of what kind of soup it was. It's tasty. I like it. I it's creamy. I would almost mistake it for potato soup. Mm. There's no potato in it. I know. Except for it's green. Yeah. But it's broccoli. Broccoli, non-potato soup. <laughs> Do you taste broccoli or not? No. You don't taste broccoli? Um, see, told, since you told me broccoli, I, uh, I taste the broccoli, <laughs> but I didn't taste the broccoli to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying I don't like it. I'm just saying that the broccoli <laughs> doesn't taste. It's not the first thing I think of. So what should we call it? Broccoli soup. Oh, it's not broccoli. <laughs> Don't pee yourself. Wouldn't want you to shoot that broccoli uh, through your nose. Well, apparently it's not broccoli soup anymore. Uh, That's right. It's hot green. It's delicious. Hot green soup. It is delicious. Hot green, delicious, creamy soup. Oh yeah. That's SEO rich. That'll get them. That's keyword. That's keyword rich. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, you know what I feel like today? I feel like a hot, <laughs> green, creamy soup. <laughs> I mean, what? I don't know. Maybe it's made of broccoli, but it tastes like potatoes. Let's see how that turns out. See you later.